Hello everybody, welcome to Beholder. This is a fun little game that takes place in a sort of military dictatorship, like dystopian state, where you run an apartment building and you have to spy on the tenants for the government. It's a lot of fun, it's in beta right now. Full version is coming out in September, I believe. It's right now it just says fall, but I think it's in September. I'm not sure, but we're gonna jump right in to a brand new game. Dear Carl Stein. We are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank, Ministry of Allocation. So there we go, that's sort of the backstory here. We are Carl, the guy coming into this place, the, the dude being dragged out uh, was the previous landlord. I don't think he did his job well enough because he kind of got beat to hell and back. This is the boss. Click on him to start dialogue. The exclamation means that NPC has a quest for you. So this is Carl. Little, little, little dumpy little Carl, man. I love the art style. I wasn't talking there in the beginning part. Just because I really was enjoying the sound design and the narration. And the sort of the charcoal colored art style. But, alright Carl. Let's go talk to this guy. So the game is fully 3D. Kind of looks like a 2D game. But, no. Fully 3D. We can go back and forth. Uh, let's go talk to the bus. You must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to a new duty position. Ha, <laughs> duty. What's going on here? We're driving out the pest from the house. Do not pay any attention to this. Uh, I guess we'll agree. As you wish. <laughs> Your predecessor hasn't coped with the easiest task. If a person occupying an important position does not cope with an easiest task, there's only one conclusion. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. So if someone fails at a task, this guy's saying they did it on purpose. <laughs> Interesting. Since now, every activity of your tenants is your business. And the word everything means, the word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow every step of theirs and write down any suspicious activity. Of course, if you wish, if you want to gain the reputation of a good public servant, uh, you're, if, if you're going to be the perfect beholder, write down hobbies, interests, and even talks. How can I do this? You need to observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start with the beginning. Have you ever managed a house before, Carl? Do you need any help? Uh, we'll go ahead and decline the tutorial. I'll just go ahead and give you guys an overview of what basically he's going to tell me. It's a very short tutorial. So here's my duty journal. Sounds about right. According to documents, your predecessor received two of them. Okay, so we've got some surveillance cameras to set up. So this is our apartment. It's not bad. It seems pretty spacious. What is it, like two bedroom? It's not bad. I don't see any bathrooms. Maybe there's a bathroom in the master suite or something. But someone sleeps out in the living room. But, you know, we got two kids. That's fine. Uh, we got to go over to our little desk here. We're going to search it. And what are you going to find, Carl? We found two surveillance cameras. So we're going to go ahead and take both of these into our inventory. And head back over here to the boss. I could have sworn I said no to the tutorial. Well, though I don't actually think this is part of the tutorial. Great, you found the cameras. Install them in the common canteen. Find, follow me. I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead of you, man. I know where we're going. See my first radio. Okay, so we got these little markers up here, oh, which are like smoke detectors, and we can install our secret little cameras in them. I'm assuming they're smoke detectors. They certainly look like them. Oh, but now you see the field of view. So even if we leave leave this room and it becomes occluded, uh, we'll still be able to see it through 
uh, the cameras. And over here we got a nice uh, little laundry mat. It's kind of depressing looking, but you know, it's a nice close distance. At least it's in unit laundry. I mean, no one wants to have to go out, especially in a, dy in a dystopian society, do their own laundry. I see you're doing fine. This is your first reward. Woo, we got some cash. 300 bucks. Spend your money on required things in your shop. You'll receive surveillance cameras for your reputation points. Reputation points show your reputation. Who? Who would have thought? <laughs> you receive them for completing duty tasks. You can only use them for your personal gain in order to persuade people around you. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with the mystery. Yep, and he's got a little phone that we can call him with. Yada, yada, yada. Alright, watch the tents closely. He's basically telling me, watch him close. I'll do my best. I like your eagerness. I'm I, I'm always happy to spy on people. <laughs> Being no haste to call it a barman, you can always get an advice of your wife's tutor. At last, the key I give you opens every door in the house. Isn't that convenient? Make sure tenants leave apartments before entering it. Many citizens are still confident that their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Set to work. Yep. So that sounds about right. We got the whole house to keep an eye on. Oh, we can't zoom out yet. I have to go call the ministry. There we go. Got our little family here. We can go chat with them. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. I don't have time for this. But I got a little daughter, wife, and I got a son somewhere around there. I'm not, I'm not sure where he is. He may have left the house. Uh, we got our direct line to the ministry right here. So we're going to call them. I believe it's the Ministry of Allocation. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties. Ready to receive a task? Yes. Set surveillance in the apartment number two. Jacob Manshek lives there. You can always buy required cameras at the state shop. Be careful and enter tenants' apartments when they are not home. Okay. So here's what we gotta do. Now we can zoom out. So this is the whole house that we are in charge of. One, running. Two, spying on everyone and reporting them to the government. Sounds like a plan. This is a little traitor guy that comes by. We don't need to do that right now. Over here we have our logs. We have a different task. We have the profile of each of the people currently in the house. And then we have what is prohibited, and uh, I think this is like mail or something that shows up later. Oh, and government directives. So right now, uh, apples are illegal. All apples must be destroyed. Storage uses are prohibited, and it is prohibited to cover up for criminals. So those are the current main things we're keeping an eye out for. Uh, let's see, we need to go to the shop. Actually, we can just access that here. And we're going to use our reputation to buy one security camera. So we're good there, and uh, we're going to head up to apartment 2, which is right here and try and set up a camera as long as Jacob isn't home. We're gonna speed up a little bit. Let's see, so when you go up to a door, wait, wait, what can we do with the bush? We, oh, I can search the bush. What are we gonna find here? Oh, I found nothing, okay, pot of plant, nothing. So, I can knock, I can spy, so I'm gonna stick my little face right here, peer into this apartment, does not look like anyone's home. So, uh, we're actually gonna enter real quick. Let's unlock it, quickly, 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 get in here, and we're gonna set up a camera. Gotta make sure he's not coming home. You'll see them like arriving stuff. And the guy we're looking out for is this guy right here. So that's him, that's Jacob. Uh, that's what he looks like. Uh, we also could search the apartment while we're here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll fast forward just to get these things done faster. Okay, ooh, we found a deck of cards and dice. So if we click here, it'll actually store the information under his profile. So we know he likes to gamble. Cause I mean, any uh, type of information is good for what we're supposed to do, which is just constantly spy on people and report them. So uh, we spy on them a little bit. Okay, he found a broken bottle that could be used to turn into a weapon. So we'll go ahead and remember that about him. Okay, I wanna make sure he's not showing up. No, but I don't know where he is right now. Like if, cause the people do come and go to work and they leave their houses for various reasons. So I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it was just that in the bottle, nope. Uh, so we're gonna quickly leave. Oh, oh, that was perfect timing. Look who just showed up. Hey, buddy, let's go. Let's go talk to Jacob. What do you want? Uh, we're going to quit with him. Who are you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm a new house manager. Did I win the competition of who cares about a new damned manager? I don't care about you and your deals. Okay, fine. Be that way, Carl. What are you smelling around here? Have nothing to do? It's my duty to look after the house. Watch yourself as if nothing bad happens to your family. All right, Jacob. Well, enjoy your uh, apartment, buddy. Go do whatever you want. Uh, well, this is this guy here. We don't got to chat with him yet. We'll meet all the tenants as they uh, as time goes on. But Jacob's going to go into his apartment. So it's dark in here, but we can see whatever he's going to do. What is he? Oh, is he drinking? Easy there, Jacob. Easy there. Okay. So now we need. Uh, wait, I have to call the ministry again. Okay, I thought I was supposed to spy on him. Let's go head over here. Call the ministry real quick. Ministry of order. Okay. Oh, we already got that. Okay. Complex uh, recipes for a new chef and 50 reputation points. Okay. So our first, I thought we had to catch him in the action. Our first job was just supposed to spy on him. 
Spy upon him uses surveillance cameras. When a tenant does something banned within the camera range, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add evidence to the dossier. Okay, attach gathered evidence to your reports. Okay, we're going to finish that. Uh, so right now, he is... Yep, he is making drugs, which according to Directive 6039, as of September 2nd, drug production is prohibited. I see you there, Jacob. Yep, he was just making drugs. New message received. Oh, Jacob, you're going away for a long time, buddy. Let's see, did he leave or maybe he's sleeping or something? Oh, now that the camera saw him, that should be enough evidence to turn him in. So we're going to go over to our desk here. We're going to file a report. Okay, drop a report. Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Menashek, living in apartment number two. Oh, and if anything's wrong in your report, you actually get fined pretty heavily and you get in trouble. So we don't want to do that. Uh, he violated directive 6039 from uh, September 1984. Oh, they're using like the European style, which makes more sense, but I'm just used to the American style of the month before the day, but the day before the month does make more sense. And we'll go ahead and let's see, where is he? There he is. We'll go ahead and drag collected materials here. Uh, this stuff isn't legal. I don't think gambling or keeping glass bottles is illegal, but he did violate the directive of making drugs. So we're going to send the report. And now, uh, just so we stay out of it, the police should show up and do the dirty work. Here they come. Here comes the paddy wagon. Oh, we got these big dudes. <laughs> so here comes Jacob. Oh, not Jacob. I'm Carl. Just passing by. I'm going to check the mail real quick. Okay, well, I'll read that later. What's going on here? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, he's kicking down the door. He's <laughs> really giving it to him. Oh, Jacob, man. You know, I feel kind of bad for ratting him out. But he was making drugs. So like if it was like the apple thing where he just had an apple and that's illegal, I'd feel bad, but he technically was making drugs. So to hell with you, Jacob. You jerk get that crap out of my tenants see. Okay, uh what was this saying? This letter said the Ministry of Truth noticed increase in philosophy of books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His books are described obsolete ideas that have been proved to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes that the ideas of society without government and a priority of the freedom of personal choice are dangerous not to be destroyed. Yep, so, uh, looks like philosophy books are illegal. So that probably is a new directive. Yep, right there. Paul Williams' books and storage prohibited. Cool, and we got a new message. Awesome, yes. So the subject was arrested, and we were awarded 250. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, so now is this place empty? Repair car apartment costs 750. Uh, we technically have enough cash for that, uh, but that is our current mission. So we're going to repair apartment two. And we'll have to find a tenant. How do we do that? Okay, we can find Joe's, Jones, Pop, Den, Pop and Ido, Jones, Pop and Ido, or Alicia's Spakak. Uh, let's go with Jones. He seems like a shifty guy. I can probably catch him doing something illegal or sneaky. Uh, our wife wants to talk this. We'll go chat with her real quick. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's What, Carl? Talk about work. Are you happy with your new job, Carl? I haven't dealt with this yet, honey. I was scared when a handcuffed person passed by me. Who did that? <laughs> He's the ex-house manager. He, he didn't call well with his duties. What a nightmare. Carl, can anyone do the same to you? Don't worry, honey. I'll be a good manager. Domestic problems. I need your help, honey. I can't find a big saucepan. I've searched every corner. I have no idea where it is. Can it be stolen? Should I call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan. Don't even think of this. You must have forgotten it in our old house. Okay, if you say so. Can you ask the tenants about saucepans? I hope they want to refuse a new manager. I'll make a... Uh, I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. Okay, we'll go end that dialogue. I uh, think there are some neighbors that went in here. Hey, what's going on, man? Who's this guy? Uh, what do you want from an honored archive worker? Okay, who's this? Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm a new house manager. Mark Rannick is an honored archive worker. I have to live in this disgusting house. I hope you put everything in order here. I'll do my best. Try hard. You'll need this more than me. Uh, ask about the saucepan. Do you have a big saucepan? My wife wants to make a compote. I don't know what that is. My wife usually cooks, cooks soups, but her, sop, or her saucepan is rather small, to be honest. Don't ask about the wife. Rosa works in the canteen, always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns, cakes so much, that became her occupation. So we actually do gain reputation for learning things like that. So now we go over to the people, we can see Rosa. Uh, we can see that she does like to cook. That is good information. 
uh, for the government. So that is her over here. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I'll go ahead and quit with her. Hello, miss. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the house manager. Nice to meet you. You have already met my naughty husband. I also have a son. He's just like you. He lives in the capital. I'll ask about the son. He became a boss, our dear boy. I haven't seen him for a long time. So long ago. And we'll ask about the husband. Anything interesting? Oh, he spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Okay, so he likes fishing. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't have a saucepan. Okay. I could have figured. The husband already told me that. So we could put surveillance cameras in here. That's something we could do. Let's actually do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get up the shop. And we'll buy... Let's see. What? Are these ones better? Okay. Middle viewing angle. Hmm. And we'll buy a couple of these. We're going to install them in here. Gives us a little bit better view. See if anyone's doing anything illegal down here. And we'll go put one over here. Did I not buy two? Just one about two. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't. Okay, let's go ahead and buy another one. Oh, we can't buy another one. Oh, I forgot we're buying these with reputation, not money. Dang it. Okay, that's totally not what I meant to do. I thought we were buying with the money, but oh well. Uh, we gotta get talk to our daughter and our son. And we still have to find a saucepan. That's our number one important thing. Let's see. Who's this guy? Oh, I think he's just waiting for the bus. Okay. Now we'll go chat with our family for a little bit. What's up, son? Yes, father. Talk about work. I don't like your new job. Father, your boss is so nasty. Do you like eating food and study at the university? Studying at the university, I'm assuming that should be. Wearing new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never take. I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hope so. I hate mine's father. It'd be better to, er, it'd better to die than work as a slave. Oh, yeah, I guess we don't want to do the mines. Talk about the mines. You haven't changed your mind about becoming a miner in the past two seconds since we last talked about it? Alright, yep, yep, yep. Ask about the news. Ask about the study place university. I haven't missed any classes, to be honest. I haven't believed you can get this place in the university for me. Be diligent, student son. This place costs us too much. I won't let you down, father. I certainly hope so. Wait, did we not talk to him enough? Okay, e economics class started and we were given a look... So he needs a book, textbooks and books I need to study. I went to the bookstore, but they don't have these books. My friend said uh, antiquers sell these books at the on Saturday market, but they cost a million. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone has these books. You talk to wise and smart people. I'll think of what I can do for you. Okay, so we need to find him some books, huh? Well, let's go talk to our daughter. Let's go, we need economic books. Interesting, will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. Not now you got lost. It's nowhere to find. I can't tell if these these gra these grammatic mistakes are on purpose or <laughs> I'm not sure if the developers of this game are English speakers, so maybe they need a little help with translating. <laughs> it's my doll. This is my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you play with it? At home. Nadia is too small to walk outside. Find her, please. All right, we'll try and find her. Uh, we gotta call the ministry though. That's our next, next mission. So we need to find the doll, we need to find a book, and we need to find a saucepan for Martha. Let's go ahead and call up the ministry. Congratulations, your task has been a success. You are awarded 250 reputation. Sweet! You will uh, not have to report the completed task by phone. You'll be awarded upon completing the task. We will notify you of a new task by phone. Remember, if you miss a call from the ministry of order, you'll be fined. You must be present in the house at all times to answer the phone. Even if you are dying, you understand? Yes. You got rid of the violator. Now survey the tenant's opinions on Shimmer. Find out what others think of him, bright characteristics, after you are done with a survey. Get to work. Okay, uh, we got to request data on new tenant. Jones Papadino, request accepted, wait. No violations, banned items turned in three. Papers fine, job 23487, coal barge sailor. An intern at the International Affairs Committee, training to be allowed to sail internationally. Silver reliability, 7 out of 10, surveillance required. It will provide additional instructions later. Alright, good to know. So that's the guy that lives up here. I don't think I've seen him moving around yet, but we'll definitely pick it up from here in the next episode, guys. If you're enjoying, be holder, leave a like, leave a comment, leave something, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.